What's up everybody? Nick here. I want to welcome you to another episode of Nick's PNW Experience at Ancestry Brewing. Let's get a little focus on that. There you go. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What made you guys decide that the beer business was something that you wanted to be a part of? We've always wanted to do something together. Uh huh. And I started Pioneer Pump and Canby in 1998. And so Jeremy always wanted to do something with me and I always wanted to do something with him. But he wasn't comfortable, you know, coming into the pump business. He wasn't really interested in that. Right. So he wanted to kind of do something on his own. And this has given him the opportunity to really step up and do it on his own. That's awesome. That's great. What the name, where's the name uh, Ancestry from? Uh, just because it's a family business. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we thought about things that were really important to us, why we wanted to do this. And that extends more, uh, you know, to more than just us being immediate family. It really is a way we want to do business where uh, customers who come in want them to feel like they're a part of something very, um, uh, you know, family from that perspective. Even the branding, um, you know, is a nod to his and my brother-in-law's naval service. It's an anchor and a sextant. I was gonna ask. Um, so all of those things, um, you know, kind of come together, like why we're doing it, what's important to us about this business, and carrying that through into the product that we sell, and, and really what customers experience when they come through the door and want to be very inclusive. And that might sound simplistic, uh, but there are a lot of breweries out there that build their brand on sort of being uh, exclusive or you're you know, very special if you get to try this. And we definitely have some special products and things like that. But our whole point is for it to be a big family. So that's our Aussie IPA. Um, it's, it's brewed with uh, strictly Australian hops. Mm -hmm. um, and it is in the hazy realm of IPAs. And uh, what's really cool about those Australian hops and why they've come into favor over the last couple of years is just because they have a very distinct and strong tropical fruit flavor. Like when I put my nose in there, it's like you know pineapple and passion fruit. And then if you get the right combinations of them, you can do some pretty crazy stuff. Like right uh, when we were walking through the brewery, the guys are filtering tiny umbrellas and we both kind of said, oh, it smells really good. I wonder, you know, I knew they were doing something with hops, but didn't know exactly what. And, sure. um, you know, that beer specifically, we found a hop that all of us, when we tasted and smelled, were like, oh yeah, that's pineapple. And then there was another hop, and this was really rare, um, that uh, has a distinct coconut. Interesting. And so Tiny Umbrellas is kind of like, it's a play on a pina colada, you know, you might have a tiny cocktail in your drink sort of a thing, yeah. I struggle with a lot of the hoppy beers, it's like the first couple drinks are great, and then, uh, and I love hops, I love hoppy beers, but some of them that I struggle with are the ones that just that, that hop character tends to build on your tongue to a point where, you know, halfway in or three quarters of the way through, it's kind of just, you know, tasting much kind of joy. This is got and I'm not sure if I'll describe this correctly. It, it reminds me slightly of a wheat beer in that you can taste the grain yep. a bit. There uh, is, is wheat and oats in that beer. There yep. we go. So it's got, those remind me almost of like more savory components yep. um, along with the more tropical fruits that you would right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's a cool beer. What was this one called again? Aussie IPA. Aussie IPA. Yep. I'll remember that next time I come in. Yeah. And that's another thing we haven't talked about at all yet is food here. Yeah. Which you guys have a killer menu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The um, typical response we get from people is, your burgers are great. I don't know what you do, but um, we use premium beef. Yeah. yeah, and the Selwood Tap Room is a real neat local oh, I bet. location for the Selwood neighborhood. You know, it's such a cool neighborhood. People, more of a walk up, probably, uh, uh -huh. clientele from the, the neighborhood and outside tables, dogs you know, there. And they have the neat, uh, kind of, I call garage door, where the whole sure. side can kind of open up on nice days. Coconut flavor, pineapple, um, and tropical fruit. 
fruit, and it's a hazy beer. We just transferred it just now, so nice and fresh. You don't hear coconut described in beer very often. Yeah, we have a hop called cashmere that has a little bit of that character in it. I think it comes out a little bit, so yeah. tiny umbrellas, pina colada type thing, because we get a little bit of that out of the hop. Love that. Yeah. Love that. About wraps things up for today. I'm gonna go uh, go home, change clothes, maybe go play a little disc golf. Uh, probably should work, maybe a little. I don't know. Strategically arranged this visit for two o'clock on a Monday. Ended my work day very early and resulted in me enjoying some beers. Uh, pretty sure that was a brilliant decision on my part. But I'm done talking to this camera. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions of other places you'd like me to visit or video or review. Um, but definitely like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.